Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I am back with a junk journal book haul and I'll be sharing a few items I got from my visit to the thrift shop. So let's start off with these two books that I got from our local library. So they have a section in the front where they have shelves that have free magazines and textbooks and they have another section or shelf where they sell books for 50 cents to a dollar. So I found these two is pretty excited to find them. I love the cover on this. Look at this beautiful cover, hard cover here with the deer, the animal world. So I thought this would be great to convert into a fun junk journal. The pages are pretty fun as well. Really some cute illustrations and this book was published 1961. So I'm excited to use that. Another one that I was really happy to find is this Charlie Brown book and this is based on the television special as the title says over here. So I have a little bit of a collection of Charlie Brown uh, books and this is one that I will probably be adding or using for other projects. So this one was published 1977 and as you can see it's not in a comic strip format but more television storyboard uh, style. So I love this. The kids and I love to read this. I'm something just really laid back when you you have some downtime. We love Snoopy. And so look at these adorable images too. So I'm excited to have this. So some free items that we found at the library were these encyclopedias and they had 12 at that time. I looked at a few of them and got four. I really like the cover of this one and again perfect for some of my crafting paper journal projects. So let's have a quick look through here and see what the pages look like. I love that bird. So we have birds. I love the text. You can definitely use that. I love maps. I like using them as insert pages and envelopes. I actually made a cute little pocket here. That would be perfect for your journal cards, like a little index card. And I love the image on this one. It has like an illustration of a worker here at a modern food cannery. And it says tin can, so super easy to make these. And then you can cut out different things for ephemera. So, and so many pages, again, maps. And this encyclopedia was printed, let's see, should be in here, 1961. So this was the first one. The second one as well, really like the cover. This is volume number six. Again, we'll look Look at the pictures here with some flowers, some images, and also uh, fun to see and read with the kids and look at some of the information that they've included in these books. Especially now that um, they look up things more on Google than actually looking at reference books and reading, I thought it would be fun to look at this type of reference book. So look at this image with this man with a flute instrument. I think that's really cool. You have some old buildings. Love it. Really nice pictures. And here's some needlepoint. Different stitching for embroidery. And these were free. So I was really excited to see them and get a few. So these were the ones that I thought had more pages that I would use. So really, really cool, yeah. Um, comment below and let me know what's your favorite book or uh, what do you usually use? Look at this cute one here with the lady in front of a dishwasher. We have another one, love the vintage look to that. Really nice. So the third one is this one again look at this cover so nice and we'll look towards the back we have minerals more maps some images in there animals 
I know there were some pages. Here's a beautiful painting, The Golden Screen. And it is James Wister's, I think, the artist. So there's like some Japanese motifs in this particular image. And we have flowers and birds. Again, great, great for ephemera. Look at that beautiful bird and flower. And the final one, the fourth one, was this, the Golden Home High School. I also used an image in one of these uh, for a recent vintage card junk journal that I sent off to my dear friend Joanne. So if you haven't seen that Happy Mail for Joanne video, I'll put the link at the end. Um, make sure to check it out if you'd like to see a flip through of, our, um, of that project. There's a beautiful scene here. Love these. I'm definitely going to cut those out. Super nice. So excited to use these. Now the next uh, few books I purchased from Half Price Books. If you follow me on Instagram at Karamee's Corner, you would have seen this post. So this book was at the clearance aisle and I like it. It's a decoupage, an illustrated guide love the sheets of pages and it gives you steps and tips on how to make these decoupage projects they also have pictures of the actual finished projects here which are so pretty look at this one i love the brooches as well really pretty pretty boxes and all these other projects it also talks about how to varnish all what kinds of adhesive, just fun to use and read. And another one I was really excited to find was this book of how to create your own painted lady. Having lived in San Francisco, I've seen a lot of these Victorian homes and it's always nice to read on them. So this book uh, touches on how a lot of people that have Victoria homes uh, are restoring them. And this is basically a guide of different painters and designers showing you different uh, ways to restore your own Victorian home. And I think it's just really interesting to see the process and the details. And here are some pages to where they show different models and color schemes on how to paint or how these uh, Victorian homes look like. And so I'm still on the fence if I should use this for a traveler's notebook size junk journal. I think that will work, but we'll see. So I'm excited to read this as well and learn more about these Victorian homes. So that was another clearance item from Half Price for children's books. Uh, I collect them as well, and this is one I'm definitely going to add to my collection. This was at the clearance aisle for $2, and it's Eloise in Moscow, and I love the newspaper look on the cover. Pages are super clean and nice, and both my girls grew up watching the show and reading her books, so I'm excited to share this with them. It also comes with a CD, and it's narrated by Bernadette Peters. I love her and she's really cool so i'm excited to listen to this and um take a look and see if it's really well done there um uh, here's another one danny and the dinosaur for a dollar and this is again another classic sid hoff children's book this was published 1958 and the images are just adorable i love the bright colors and the cute storyline super adorable so i love this one here's another one i was happy to find again at the clearance aisle for two dollars gaudy who is a famous spanish architect and artist i was super lucky and got a chance to visit barcelona and if you ever get a chance make sure to visit park goel beautiful 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 destination and one that was really something else uh, an amazing sight to see was his Sagrada de Familia. Let's see here. This is the interior that we're looking at. 
uh, but being there in person is a whole different story but beautiful beautiful architecture and very unique so I'm excited to add this I like to add this to some of my coffee book collections I like to read it at downtime and just kind of quietly browse through them and enjoy the pictures so here's another big one and this time it's Reader's Digest Treasures in Your Home. It's an illustrated guide to antiques and their prices. So this was also $2. So many pages, so many interesting facts. Uh, I'm excited to read and learn more about antiques and I might use some of the pages here like this one. Look at this beautiful page for some of my projects. So excited. Here's another one that'd be great for ephemera beautiful book so here are some of the other pages in the back so super fun and then we go to the dollar store and I found this um, wonderful reference book to or project uh, book carved stamp play teaches you how to make your own custom stamps I'm definitely gonna use some of my projects there are some wonderful uh, junk journaling like art journals ideas that I can see that I can definitely apply and use here so here are some of the pages look at this beautiful love this as well so you have different techniques and how to make them and there are more colorful ones here as well like collaging look at that next item was from the clearance aisle from half price books I love this Laudere Almanac Perpetual. So it's like a planner, but it's more than that. It has some entertaining tips, some fun recipes, like small recipes. Look how cute this bookmarker is. Some wonderful quotes here, like there's one from Confucius and other uh, tips here as you see, you know, like and just beautiful pages again that I can use for my project. I'm still trying to decide if I can still use it as like a little daily uh, gratitude journal. I can just change the dates, put a sticker over it, and write the appropriate date on it. So I'm still thinking, or I could use some of the pages again for some other fun projects. So I was really happy to find this. And uh, the kids and I uh, visited a comic shop. They wanted to look for some graphic novels. And they had a table that had uh, these free comic day little booklets. So I got a couple of them. I have a little golden book with the Wonder Woman and uh, Supergirls. And I'm making it into a little junk journal. So I thought these would be great inserts as well. Lovely, colorful images and fun. Yeah, just colorful um, pages here. Another one is little Lulu love it with the doggy and here are some of the fun uh, story pages as well uh, one item I did purchase from them was the Smurflings I grew up watching the Smurfs and reading their little the comic books so I thought this was a cute little one to read again on downtime just for fun and add to my little collection I have I think one that is almost like a golden book there's one that actually tells you the story of how the smurfs came about and talks about their creator <coughs> excuse me and and then um it has some full colors as well so i have three i'm going to add this to that collection now the last books were given to me by my mom she loves she knows i love uh, paper crafting i love vintage stuff as well and um uh, children's books but here's one that she had given to me because she thought maybe I could use it for some of my junk journal projects and these are illustrated uh, history books so this was published in 1976 again some really fun images that I can definitely use and I was so happy when she got me this The Wizard of Oz I love this one here's the original price 49 cents so pretty so this one was published 1951 it looks like no this was printed 1975 by wonder books 
and I think they were a competitor of Little Golden Book. So I might, I might, might uh, convert this into an actual um, junk journal. I'm not sure yet, or I just might add it to my uh, children's book collection. Really like that one. Here's another fun one that she gave me. It's Hansel and Gretel, and the unique thing is. It's in French, so that's fun. So I can use that again for the project. And another book she got me was this Mother Goose book. It has 12 complete stories. Really fun illustrations. It's a very fun book because it's a turn me over book or flip book. You flip it over and you have the other stories on the flip side. So super happy to have these and excited. So now let me show you what I got from Savers Thrift Shop. Now let me show you some items I purchased from Savers Thrift Shop. Here's this beautiful plate by Norman Rockwell. I love it. It's so pretty. It was $4.99. I was really surprised to see it there. Um, I've looked on eBay just to see how much they would be selling these plates if they are original and they are at least $25 to about $35 each. And this was, it says Mother's Day's 1981. And here in the back, it has the plate number and the Society of Rockwell America, copyright 1981. So that's what it says in the back, such a beautiful plate. I just love this endearing scene between a grandmother and her granddaughter, so pretty. Love how the light on the top looks there as well. Another item I got, I love tea time, and I saw this adorable, cute little bear here. Look at her little feather. Feather's kind of a little um, worn out. And I love her little tea hat. She's holding her little teacup and she's all dressed up for tea. This was $1.99. There was no price on it, but the gentleman gave it to us for $1.99. I thought it was really cool. And this is Chapeau Noel. This is the name of the group. And again, there's a number at the bottom. So pretty. So I love that. And Finally got this cute little snow globe, little uh, little figurine, precious moment. This was a dollar ninety nine. So at first I thought, oh, it looks so perfect, and why is it only a dollar ninety nine? So it's cute. Let me just show you the glitter inside. When I took a little closer look while I was wiping it, it looks like the head came off, and the super glued it on it but that's fine it's still very cute nonetheless so i thought that was a cute addition to my small collection of precious moment figurines hope you guys enjoyed this junk journal book haul i will be doing a project share soon on this traveler's notebook junk journal so stay tuned thanks again for watching caramia's corner see you next time